we're back. We're sleeping again. This time we're alone on the bench, though. That's fine. Yeah. Which actually works out because uh, we haven't read Greta's brain in her house. Oh. Must not be real that... nosy. Oh. Wait. What? She's not here. But look, look at all the wow, plushies that's she's weird. made. And she painted a poster. Where did she go back on the bench? Oh, come on. Jerk. I was trying to read your brain. Well, I guess that's gonna... probably fine considering. But let's go read your journal instead. Yeah, because it's been updated. Ugh. The white savior in darkness. Trouble dreams beset the maiden. Her savior gone, consumed below. Now her only companion, the cold wind, moaning at her door. Her heart fluttered with sudden fear. Then still, a sudden calm. Why? Presence, a figure, close behind. She doesn't dare look, doesn't dare move. Fearful the slightest action would break the spell. She knew the presence at her bed, knew the calm only they could bring. Her white savior, now protector, standing tall beside her. <laughs> Powerful. Perfect. So tall. So yeah, when we That's come weird. in here and she spends asleep on her bed, she's not been asleep. She knew we were there. Yeah, she's uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trying to read your brain in there. You need nope. to go back in there. All right, so now on to what we're actually doing today. Now that we've been nosy, so I really, really, really want the shadow dash. So. I need to do some things to get it. Um, so we are going to start working towards it. There is an area we have to go through and a boss fight we have to get to, <laughs> to and win. A boss fight that previously I have died to on Steel Soul before. Oh no, this could be it! <laughs> For real this time, this could be it. Yeah. Anyway. But in preparation, we did get a couple of things. I yes. got another charm notch because I went and ran around and got a few charms. I finally went and bought Quick Focus from Salubra. I bought Fragile Strength from mm. uh, Leg Eater. I also bought Fragile Greed from Leg Eater. And I went and got the Balder Shell. Um, and I think I got another mask and just ran around and grabbed a few things. Hmm. So we've done a little like bit Like generally of good quality of life sort of maintenance yeah. work sort of thing, I think. So we're going to head toward, after I be greedy and get this money, uh, we're going to head towards the new area. Cool thing is we do not have to worry about acid. So the area is a bit tricky because it's a slightly more late game area but mm. it's not super not so bad, bad. alright we'll see I guess <gasps> it's a baby. baby come on I don't like having to deal with them when I'm in the water <laughs> baby Babies. Home. so that means he's a good one and not a mimic because there's a few more mimics. I forget, did you say if the, the mimics say anything in particular? They do, but I forgot to dream nail it oh, first. Oh yeah. Well, we'll see eventually, maybe. Assuming we don't die first! It's true. It's true. Oops. So we'll come back to that area up there, but not yet. Okay. It's an interesting area with a very interesting boss. So this is a new area. Kingdom's Edge. Ah! Ah! Oh. So these guys are the the soul gathering ones, okay. which you can get like a lot of soul from. I don't have enough money for him <laughs> you again. You never do. <laughs> Every time. Uh, At least you thought of it this time before. Uh, yeah, before talking to him. So you weren't quite as disappointed. Yeah. I'm not going to get much money from them either, because... <laughs> Let's I don't have to worry about acid, which is so nice. There is actually a uh, one of the Grimkin here that we'll get later. 
I want Shadow Dash first. The Kingdom's Edge is nice. It's interesting. It's, it's dangerous. These guys are also kind of just like easy to get soul from. Also money. These guys though. These Shoots guys are tricky. And I don't like it. That is a primal aspid. If you you said a while ago that you looked up some Hollow Knight memes, I am sure you saw something about primal aspids. Probably. Because people love to make memes about primal aspids. And actually, I should have enough money for the Cornifer's map now, so let's go get that. Just get that over with kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Make it a little easier to get around. Not that I've been using the maps, but... It's just nice to have. Oh, Ooh, see, I keep yawning. No good reason. I made soup earlier. I like talking about the food that I make, I guess. Go for it. Um, while I get the map. Ooh. Well, actually, let me read this. Isn't this a cozy hole? I've been venturing about that wilderness beside here and thought a moment's break was well called for. The landscape's all rather serene this side of the city, though the inhabitants are as ferocious as ever. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> and judging by this wall, the city folk seem to hesitant to build further into these caverns. I wonder what kept them at bay. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Wow. Now talk about food, because it was wow, actually yeah. really good soup. I don't know, I it like was, it was song. really good soup. And while yeah. I wander my way to the boss fight. <laughs> it was, um, it's a Korean soup. I'm really into Korean cooking. Um, and so today I tried to make a soup like something like to get at our local H Mart. Um, it wasn't exactly the same, um, but it was very good. It was. it was uh the sundubu um i made my own tofu to put in it and then i kind of messed up the tofu but it was still good though the flavor was pretty nice um it was really easy to make too which is kind of surprising um it was slightly it was spicy, good but not yeah bad. i could have i was hesitant to put in as many chili pepper flakes as she suggested so i put in i don't know uh, two thirds of what she'd suggested, basically. It could have used more, but um, it was nice to not like. It wasn't a struggle to eat it or anything, so that was kind of cool. Oh no! I want my shadow dash! <laughs> That's okay. Um, but yeah, usually when you come over, we'll either go out and get something to eat, because usually we're recording for a long time. Yeah. Or, like, I'll make food or whatever, and, um, lately I've been feeling like making either, like, some kind of beans! Beans are good! I like beans! <laughs> beans are really yes. good! Yes. Or, like, some, like, Korean food type stuff, so... Yeah, you make a lot of Asian- you've made a lot of Asian food, like, from various Asian countries, like- Yeah, and I like- I like Korean food in particular, and I like a lot of Japanese food, too. Mm. Which, sometimes I'll kind of, like, mix them depending, so like the cucumbers I made today were more the Japanese style because I thought a non-spicy, more vinegar based version would be nice to go with a spicy soup, so I'll kind of like mix and match a little bit. I'm resetting that. <laughs> <laughs> that was just gonna get me in trouble. I forgot that those two spawn there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're supposed to actually get an actual Korean restaurant in oh, really? our hometown. Really? Which somehow, like, I think we have a large Korean population, but somehow we don't have any Korean restaurants, aside from H Mart. So, oops. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think, it, I think I have been told that it's a chain, though I haven't checked in on that, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, I was hoping it would be like a, like a hole in the wall restaurant and they give you a bunch of side dishes rather than being like a barbecue place sort of a thing. Yeah. But I've never had Korean barbecue in a restaurant either. 
seeing as we don't have them. So I think that could be fun too. That would. So we'll that see. Would. Maybe. Dude, have you ever heard of um, Brazil? Uh, was it Brazilian barbecue? Brazilian barbecue? No. Have you heard of that? If I'm remembering correctly. So we went for my little brother Tim's birthday a couple years ago. Mm. I think it was maybe two birthdays ago. I don't remember exactly. Um, we have one in Baltimore, and um, it's basically like a buffet. I guess you could probably order like a, a menu item, but most people who go, go and get the buffet, uh -huh. and um, they have like a buffet that has side dishes and things on it, um, but the main thing is the meat. And they will come around with meats of a whole bunch of different kinds. They'll be like, "Hey, do you want this kind of pork?" And you'll say, mm. "Okay." And they'll and they'll cut off a bunch of pork and give it to you. And they just keep coming by with more meat. Oh dang! <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was the first time having pecanha. I don't know how to pronounce oh. it. I don't even know what pecanha is. I thought it was pork for a long time, but I think it's actually beef. I don't know, beef. but it was pork real good. Again, I can move on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of food. It was a lot of food. Especially if they keep bringing it to you. Yeah, it was great. So, um, that's the sort of thing that I would go, like, maybe once in a- like, I haven't been back in- since, like, in a couple years. Um, it's kind of like a real special occasion sort of a thing for me. Um, but, uh, but that was really fun. I'd never done anything like that huh. before. I don't yeah, know if I... I don't think I'd ever heard of like that. Yeah, I I wish I could remember the other things that we had with it, because oh, that's weird. It laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Let's okay. go find the other end of it. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Cause that's its butt. I feel like they had like cheesy biscuity bread type things oh, I that were pretty you good. Oh, I about that. Um, that sounded really good. Yeah. I'm a bread person. I like bread. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. I, I liked that a lot. I would go back someday. At this point, I've forgotten enough of it that I think the experience would be novel enough again. So it was expensive, of course, but um, yeah. but it was fun though. I think we had to get valet parking, unfortunately, which. Valet parking? Wait, yeah. oh, like, where people park your car for you? Yeah, it felt really weird. I've that, never done that, that before. That is weird. Like, you're giving away your car to somebody. Yeah, that feels really like... uncomfortable. But, uh... Nope, and I don't think on. that... I, I think they have, like, a bus system in Baltimore, but they don't have, like, a metro or anything, so... Oh, really? No, they don't. Huh. I don't know why I thought they would have. Because it's a big city, so you would assume that they would have infrastructure for that. But no, they just have the bus system. Hmm. We're close to the other end of the fella. Oh, he's so sleepy! <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. We haven't done that in a while. No. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win. I, do you want him? Uh, you do it. Alright. <laughs> um, tiny thing, you climb high. Seek then knowledge of these lands? This ashen place is grave of worm. Once told it came to die. But what is death for that ancient being? I can't say that ancient <laughs> being. More transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of the being spawned from that event. Is it you bothering about my tail? Rest is somewhat disturbed, but I find that sensation not unpleasant. <laughs> Horror. This falling ash is molt, the worm's corpse decaying, endless, um, serene, sad. With its like gone, the world is smaller. Don't mistake, I am not a worm. Worm, too small I am. Too many limbs. No foresight like those old things. Billy Bob. He's just a guy hanging out. Yep. <laughs> what quiet retreat did I climb up here, away from spitting creatures? Worm, 
Yes, high up, away from simple minds, lost to light. Theirs is a different kind of unity, rejection of the worm's attempt at order. I resist the light's allure, union it may offer, but also a mind bereft of thought. To instinct alone, a bug is reduced home. Mm. Be on your way, then. It's rest I'll return to, though in these times sleep doth proves uneasy. I think that's it. Yeah. I saw a video recently of a termite queen, mm -hmm. um, and I, I think there we saw, what was there, a termite queen in, um, in the circus? Yep. Yeah. Uh, divine. Um, but this looks more like the termite queen that I saw. Oh, really? Yeah, because it was like a tiny head on a giant body. Uh, I guess not yeah. like the legs necessarily, but... Um, proportionately, I was just looking at that little tiny face <laughs> and it reminded yeah. me of the termite queen I saw. But anyway. He looks squishy. But an interesting thing about him. Stop it. Yep. Don't do that. <laughs> what requires its mind not to be pride is rather unsettling, rather invasive. He knows what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Also, he just gave a huge lore dump. Oh. Uh... I don't About know if you were right? actually... Huh? Well, I mean, not knowing anything, yeah. I don't know what details are important, but... Yeah, but basically, he just gave a huge lore dump. Sure. So, we'll be back to him, because he has more to say. We After we get the Shadow Dash. Okay. Um, but yeah, the worm, the whole thing about the worm is very important overall. Oh good, I knew it. To go out. Good grief. She she likes to. Uh... She's a problem. But yeah, he was talking about he's too small to be a worm. He's pretty big. Like his tail is here. He's pretty big, yeah. So, but we'll get a chance to see what he means by he's not big enough to be a worm. I'm trying to remember which way. Yeah, she gave up. I knew it. <laughs> she just wanted the attention. Uh, she just wants something. Who knows? I don't think this is the right way. Stop spitting at me and come closer. I'm glad that with fragile strength. Okay, here we go. I'm glad that with fragile strength. Um, With fragile strength, I can two-shot the primal aspids. All right, our bench. So, either gonna die here, or access, get access to my shadow dash. Okay. I have died in this spot in Steel Soul before. Last time it was because I was getting greedy and trying too fast. Hmm. I am double checking my charms to see if this is what I want. Hmm. Yeah. So we're in a tent. This ash trapped. Oh, not snow. No, it's not snow. That's what the the worm guy was saying. The the squishy worm, not the worm. Uh it's not ash, it's not snow. Oh, I already forgot. It's pieces of the worm's corpse. Gross. Because there is a worm body, like W-Y-R-M, yes. uh, hanging around this area. <laughs> um. Yeah, since since I don't have any context for it, all of those words, We're just not they're thinking. gone. They did <laughs> yeah. not, they went in one ear and out the other. They're great for a second playthrough. Yeah, not that's the sort playthrough. of thing, and that's one thing, like... I love playing a game the first time through, but I find it frustrating seeing all these details. Like, I'm not going to remember any of that. Yeah. And I, I don't know, so. But hey, look who it is. Oh, good. The dog's barking. Hey, come back! <laughs> come She's back. She's like, no! Don't uh, leave me. I need to focus on staying healed. Oh boy, here we go. That looks like an arena. It is an arena. <laughs> Uh, do you want right. me to watch for anything in particular? Um, or you're just going to be doing it? Make right sure uh, you can talk and tell stories and stuff because I'm going to be as focused as I can get because, right. again, I'm going to be fighting my reflex to Shadow Dash. Oh, sure. Well, so, I don't know what I'm going to come up with, but we'll see. Anything you can talk about, uh, the arena, Hornet, food, 
Lily. <laughs> anyway, I read a thing. Yeah, we'll, anything we'll see. because I am not going to be talking. And if you see me getting very, very low, and I'm not healing for some reason, yeah, you can mention it because sure, okay. maybe I won't be paying attention. But but you're horned twice, so. Yeah, I don't remember the voice anymore, but maybe it'll come to me. So you'd pursue the deeper truth. It isn't one the weak could bear. Ah! Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal and I'd feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past and claim responsibility for its future. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. I mean, it's kind of one of- No, yeah, I got it. Um, it's one of those things where, like, it's that effect of, um, somebody says, Oh, what's your favorite thing in this category? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about the things. Um. Oh, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, um sometimes thinks, think it would be fun to make like cooking videos just because I like cooking. Some of my earliest YouTube watching um, was like recipes on YouTube. Um, my The first one I ever subscribed to is, they're still posting, it was um, Cooking with Dog. Oh, I remember who makes, that. Yeah, she still posts though like maybe once or twice a month now. Um, and she still posts useful recipes. I think there was one a little while ago where she was talking about like a fried, fried something and she was saying how at the time cooking oil was expensive, more expensive than usual in Japan at the time. And so she hmm. says, here's how I'm going to make this recipe but using less oil to save on, on oil kind of a deal. I don't know, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, Why was it more expensive? I, I don't don't know any details about that. I think it was just it was during COVID times or something. Uh, maybe it, there was just a shortage or whatever. I know a, lo a lot of what they they sell. There's a lot of things there that are imported, so maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe their their less expensive cooking oil is imported or something. I don't know, but. Um, but Cooking with Dog is a Japanese woman who had a little gray poodle, <laughs> and he would sit on a little stool. His name's Francis the Dog, and she Francis. has an English yeah, and she had a she has an English speaking narrator who's still with her, and um, and he would be the voice of Francis, the host <laughs> of the show Cooking with Dog, and um, he was delightful. He was very polite. Sometimes he would get a little fidgety on there, but he was a very good boy, and. Uh, <laughs> He, he died a few years ago. Yeah. Not that he died. Yeah. That was bad. No, how dare you? <laughs> no! Uh, good you job. finish about Francis. Yeah, so he, he passed a few years ago, but they found ways of in incorporating him in the show. Um, sometimes they'll have, a, like, they'll have little plushes off in the corner of him. Aww. He's still I my favorite so internet cute. boy, and I still get very sad sometimes when I think about Francis. I remember him. He was so cute. And he, he was, was the one with the skewered. Skewer, yes. Skewer. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> she still has the same narrator, and he's delightful. Nice. Anyway, go I'm ahead. I'm sad about Francis. So first, we go on Dream Mailer. Could this one succeed? I'm actually kind of surprised she can't tell that we're reading her brain. Maybe she's tired. From where does it draw it this strength? I think that's, she just says those two lines. Yeah. Oh, no! But yeah, there's some things about Hornet that are kind of special, so that's sure. why I'm a little bit surprised she can't. So strong. She's impressed. Mm -hmm. You could do it if you had the will. But could you raise your nail once knowing its tragic conception? And knowing yourself? 
Then do it, ghost of Hello Nest. Head onward, burn that mark upon your shell, and claim yourself as king. Bye. Like, oh, did not know that was what, what we were doing, but okay. So yeah, it kind of has the same sort of a feeling as in Dark Souls, where they're like, "Ah, yes, you should become the new lord, <laughs> but I don't want to." Well, you have no choice. You have no choice. Anyway, I mean, slightly choice, but we'll get there. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, here's the worm. Oh, here's the worm. The corpse. Gross. That's its head. Yeah. Oh boy. We get to go in its guts. Wow. Except there's not really guts left. It's, it's calling it a cast off shell. Off shell. Is yep. it the actual worm or is it like a molting? More like a molting. So that was yeah. another thing that he explained. Because um, um, I, like I creature... said, I retained, retained zero <laughs> amount of that. So. so a creature came out of this thing. Oh. Sort of, it sort of died and had a weird metamorphosis okay. where a smaller creature came out of it. That's the same creature but a different shape, That's and weird. began going by a new name. Oh no! And we will meet that new creature, okay. but first, we get this. Remember <gasps> that? That's the king's brand! It says right there, <laughs> but I recognize the shape yeah. before it came up, so. So we are I going promise. there. I didn't just read the thing. Anyway. But first, now it's collapsing, and we gotta get Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. Uh controller is vibrating like that. <laughs> oh. She saved us. And then ran away. Thank yeah. you, I guess. Alright, so we got a few minutes left. Uh, journal. I want to find Hornet because now we got the whole Hornet entry. Oh. I feel like there's a faster way to go down and I never remember. Skilled protector of Hollow Nest's ruins wields a needle and thread. I have seen this nimble little creature. I thought her prey and pounced at her, but with a flash she stabbed me with her flying stinger and darted away. Could she be a hunter? It's a hunter must wow. hunt. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, we are going to... Well, first I'm going to... I pressed the wrong button. I'm going to go the fast way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that reminded me of that the silly little montage I did at the end of one of the... Um... Bloodborne episodes when she died. Oh. I love that. Sometimes I go back and I, I rewatch like that. <laughs> it's, I like it's that. so like. <laughs> I, I was like just that. cackling to myself when I was making that because it's Which so episode cheesy. Is that because I liked it. I like it too, but it's also like I'm doing all kinds of wacky stuff too. No, it brings me here. I have to go anyway. <laughs> what uh, what episode was that? Because I don't um, remember. It was an early one. Um, it's the one in which Eileen dies. Yeah, I'll have to look for it, because I remember that being funny. Yeah, I, I liked making that a lot. We're back. I'm gonna read this one more time. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. So is this some... Oh, sorry. <laughs> we shall enter that place no longer. So this is something that's a lot more impactful on a first playthrough when you've died a few times and have seen your shade quite a bit. Okay. Well, with the, uh, the spots and all that. And are pretty familiar with your shade. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Now we can enter here. Wow! Because you've got the brand that doesn't show up on your shell like she said it would. I know, right? <laughs> ba -ba. So on the map, we're already... Yeah, come on. There we go. We're already way down there. Okay. I should have put on the compass so you could see like how much farther we're okay. going to end up going down. But we're pretty far down. And it has some nice ambient noise. <laughs> and look at oh, that. Oh, a body. A couple bodies. That's interesting. <laughs> I managed to save myself from the spikes and then did Oops. that. <laughs> that was great. 
<laughs> and then, uh, oh no, and I'm all the that way up here. That was quite a splat right there. Why did it send me all the way up here? Uh, just to inconvenience you, I assume. Mostly. Something like that. Usually it sends you to like a closer spawn point, yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely want all the soul I can get from these guys because there are some enemies in here that do double damage and give you no soul, which is kind of significant lore-wise, but very inconvenient um, gameplay-wise. So many little cracked faces that look a lot like us. I'm not going to worry too much about that Geo right now, just because I forgot to put on the Gathering Swarm. Right, yeah. T ah! Do not- okay, thank you. I was going to say, do not put me at the top, please. <laughs> if it's not obvious, I usually drop through here very recklessly. No, we're gonna have to come back here anyway, like. It's wonderful. The abyss. Lots of bodies. There's a G on the ground. Is it? Oh. Yeah, to the right. There it is. Wow. Two Geo! Ah! So that. That's their souls, isn't it? Yep. Their shades. And when we get to a safe place, I will show you what they are called. In the journal. I'm glad I can one shot them. Wasn't sure how well fragile strength would be on my nail because it's not fully strengthened, and fragile strength, uh, uh oh, fragile okay. strength, uh, it does like a percentage add on. Mm -hmm. It's very dark in here. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. Yeah, you don't want to touch it, but as long as you don't have to touch it, speaking of that though, journal, not no eyes. Sibling! Yep. Not the hunter's siblings. So yeah, if you hadn't figured it out yet, ah! this is where we come from. Ooh. Now for the dangerous part. That's not actually so dangerous if I'm one-shotting them. It's only but dangerous if you let them, them gather. So. Yeah. It's only going to be dangerous if I let a bunch of them gather around. He's on you. But if you can one-shot them, it's not so bad. If you let a lot of them gather, though, because they deal double damage. No, yeah, you don't want to let them swarm you. Mm. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't like that sound. At this point, you should probably have defeated at least 19 to yep. read the description if you want. I just did. Far down below us, beneath the kingdom, the air grows stiller and a sense of emptiness pervades. Can life flourish down there? If so, I will hunt it. Because I've hunted most I'm not going to stop at that with him. Turn it off? Cannot. My king, I'm sorry. The sea calls. Ooh. Oh, I already turned it on. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Why is it not turning on? So we turned on the light. And now they're gone. Oh, I forgot to show you too. All the way down here, this whole thing was just those thrashing things. Oh, so we could anymore. not cross until huh. we got the light. Okay. I forgot to show you that first. We Now we can cross. Cause like even there they would stop you, like Right, yeah. They would come up here and block this path. Sure. But the light calmed it down or made it like unable to do that. Sure. Can I... I forgot. I think I can't yet. No, I can't. Ah. 
We'll be right back there. Ah! So, can't get through them. <laughs> that spooks me. <laughs> it flails it so does. much. Good grief. It's like, ah! no, item. <laughs> it's right there, though. <laughs> Is the glowing on your chest supposed to be the brand, maybe? What is that? What's that glowing on your chest? Is that like... It's our lantern. Because oh. this area is really dark, so we oh, pulled okay. out our little lantern. Wow. Ew. I slipped. <laughs> Give me, please. Ah! I want... Absorbed that. the shade cloak. I that wanted will this. That cloaked in shadow. Ooh, that's Thank pretty you. cool. And this fellow, we'll be back to him because we can't- To think all you had to do is just kind of like roll around in some black goop. Yep. <laughs> you can't read it yet? No. Nope, he be sealed. protected. I like his, his limbs. They're cool. They look like a human skeleton yeah. bones, which is weird for a bug. Look, don't question it. <laughs> I'm gonna question it. I have my shade cloak. And we, we got- An egg! The last... I keep pressing the wrong button. We got the last of the, um... Uh, the last of the... Nope, come back. Mysterious stone egg from before the birth of Hellenist. Relic from the ancient past. This item now holds little value except for those dedicated to history. So before Hellenist. Mark Silver as king. That just tells you, oh, you can go to the ancient places, you know, like the ancient basin. If you right, haven't figured yeah. it out yourself. Okay. Cloak formed from the substance of the abyss. Neat. Well, so now I have my shadow dash. And um, now how are I know. on time though? Uh, I'm gonna get out of here, and then we'll be. Okay. And we'll be. Figured I would check. An episode. So now I can pass through those gates too. Yeah. But there's something very important that I'm not gonna just exit out of. An imprint of abyss given form. Fragments of void taking the shape of sharp, thrashing tendrils. The bugs of Hellenes sometimes wondered whether there were other, older, stranger kingdoms deep below them. What strange fancies they had. That's probably why they were always so distracted and easy to kill. Right, so now we have to climb out of the abyss. Oh because boy. I am not going to just cheat and go back because there's something important that for whatever reason like will not trigger if you don't climb out or mm. if you go too far to the left it will oh, like not trigger there's Geo there do you want that I do when I come back with gathering okay. storm because it's going to go everywhere and I don't feel like oh, chasing yeah, it down Oh yeah that's right this oh so this is bugged and if you go too far to the left she won't show up here that's irritating which is very frustrating because this is another like really lore important, important lore thing part, yeah. it faced the void and ascends unscathed could it unite such vast darkness ghost I see you face the place of your birth, and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Though our strength is born of similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. Funny, then, that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Pro prolong our world's stasis, or face the heart of its infection. I'd urge you to take that harder path, but whatever the end may come, the decision rests with you. I think that's it. Yeah. And I believe she only had the one line. Yeah. Wow. So that's actually kind of important, particularly for her character. Sure, yeah. Do you want spoilers for her character? It doesn't matter. She's our half-sister. Ow! So yeah, the, the We part don't that really we look share, alike too much as no. much i mean compared to anybody else but cool i guess well she's our half sister um we share a father not a mother 
and maybe, maybe get to see her mother next episode. Wow! I want to go to a place because I want the other part that I love about this uh, the shadow dash. There is a charm that goes with it mm. that I can get, and I love it because I use it all the time. But that will be for next episode. For now, I got my shadow dash, and I am happy. We. Oui. Okay. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.